What's going on, y'all? It's your boy JB Trucking back with another video. Hey, man, I want to first day thank y'all for being a support to your boy. Secondly, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that like button, man. It really gonna help the channel, and it's also gonna also gonna help the channel grow. And uh, we've been growing ever since, and I appreciate all y'all for that, man. Because without y'all, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. So, thank y'all. So we finna get right into this video, man. Y'all see the title, you see the thumbnail. Hey, what more can you say? Big ass fly. Um, bad back, G. My bad, y'all. Um, your boy, JB Trucking, generated $108,000. Damn, $108,000. Gross $108,000 in four months. That's impressive. With that, I know I got to pay taxes on it. I know, you know, expenses and everything, insurance, all that. I know all that. So, um, it's been a lot of work, hard work, man, that went but in, that went into this. A lot of hard work. And I'm not bragging at all. Not at all, but I'm just showcasing to letting y'all know what can be possible. Everything that I have posted on my channel is letting y'all know that anything could be possible. Um, it's been some discussion and everything about how YouTubers sharing sharing their numbers messing up the rates. It's not. Before I even got into this business, I was asking other drivers because I always want to, you know, get into this business. I asked the other drivers like, "Hey, how is it? You know, the money?" A lot of them said they it's it was shitty. So with that being said. I don't think that us YouTubers that sharing our numbers is making the, you know, making it any worse or making it worse. So I just want to throw that out there as well, too. Um, that Yukon nice. That, that Yukon nice is here. I love cars, man, and trucks. My bad, got off topic. Um, it's been a lot of hard work, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's been a lot of hard work. And I'm not going to sit here and say it's easy. Some days it might be smooth. You know what I'm saying? And some days it might be a, a headache. But at the end of the day, this is what I signed up for. I know I knew what, you know, I knew what to expect. And when some, you know, when some things happen, it's like you got to solve it. You got to figure it out. And I showcase, you know, my down, my struggles. You know, I had the blowouts. I showed you all that. And at the at the same time, I really didn't experience a lot of, you know, bad issues. You know what I'm saying? Thank God for that. And my truck is new. My trailer was new. I never experienced anything bad with my truck at all. Besides like the little, you know, oil changes, I, you know, that I need to get required. And, you know, I'm thankful that I had a, I got a good solid truck that's working, functioning and got me to point A to point B safely. You know what I'm saying? So. It, that also play a role if you go new or used. So I went the new route. So I, I can't speak on the next person and say, well, it, it's going to cost this much for this. It's going to cost that much for that because I, I haven't experienced none of that yet. And uh, but if I do, I'm going to be prepared for it. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, I got the money put up for the business. I don't use the money for my personal use. And you also got to be mindful and know that all this money we get or make got to be taxed. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like having your own business. You really got to baby it and treat it like no other. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want your business to fail. You don't want your business to, to go under the water and, uh, you know, and have to. You just don't want to lose a, a business that you, you know, that you develop and that you started. You know what I'm saying? We all got to start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So. It's like you gotta treat it like it's your nine to five, cause it is. Not even nine to five. You didn't gotta. You forever working. I'm forever working. You know what I'm saying? Sleep, forever working in my sleep, trying to figure out you know new ways to to generate more income for the business. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta be business minded. Surround yourself with people that's that's uh that's on a on the same level, if not on another level. 
and there's nothing wrong with that. It's a good to sur surround yourself with people that's above because now you get to learn from them and uh, and they're going to keep you, you know, grounded and then keep you on the right path. So I'm happy that I have a support, a supportive team. I have supportive friends, people that's in the industry, cousins that's in the industry that I can, you know, talk to and find out, you know, what would be the next step and things like that. So I'm not going to sit here and say that it's, uh, you know, anything is possible. Shoot, the impossible can be possible. And I just, you know, did the calculations of the numbers and it came out to what, you know, to be what it was. 108,000 in four months. So, I mean, I'm proud of myself because without it, without me doing the leg work and everything, it wouldn't be possible for real at all. But um, I just want to show this, you know, share this uh, video with y'all and let y'all know, man, don't let nobody detour, uh, detour you away from what you want to do. At the end of the day, it's your decision. Nobody else at all. And it's a lot of videos that's out there, a lot of great influences out there. You know what I'm saying? Hot Shot Mac, Chris TV, uh, Hot Shot Benny, who else? Uh, Toe Piglet, like all those guys right there that I just named, I watched them before I even jumped into the business. And it's humbling because, you know, now they, you know, reached out to me or they following me. They see the grind. They see the hustle. And it's just humbling, man, because like I said, I watched these folks out on the road and I was asking them questions and things like that. So we all got to start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, like I said, man, it's just humbling. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all keep me going. You know, I, I don't mind helping out, you know, the next person, but also just like know that I got a lot. I got a life, too, man. So I don't mind helping and y'all also got to do the leg work too. I can tell y'all all that, you know, a whole bunch of things, but y'all also got to do the leg work too, man. So with that being said, man, y'all have a blessed day. What's today? Friday. Today, Friday, y'all have a safe weekend, safe travels for all y'all that's on the road. And um, y'all keep trucking and y'all keep being safe out there, man. The grind don't never stop.